What's up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Black and White. Today we're we'll be heading off to the next gym city, hopefully, or maybe, you know, getting halfway there. You know, let's meet someone halfway. Uh, first off, we're getting TM81 Scizor, or X Scizor, Cross Scizor, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's the X Transceiver, but it's apparently pronounced Cross Transceiver, just like that stupid Digimon Cross Wars thing, which was kind of good at first, but kind of started hating it very fast after a while. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's Cross or X Scizor, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I'll just stick to X Scizor because it makes more sense to me. Um, anyway, yeah, there's apparently some uh, clowns on tightropes here. We have to battle them on all the freaking tightrope. I don't know how we're doing this, we're kind of just standing on a tightrope, you know, controlling all our pogeymans, and if this was, you know, wow, thank you, Mr. Emolga, or, yeah, you are Mr. Um, I was hopefully getting some, uh, more levels on Spankwire, because she has unfortunately fallen a bit in the levels recently, but, uh, apparently that's not the case, because once again, she just dies right off the bat. Um, here is Crunch for Vinny, which is actually a great help, because main attack is not that great. Um, but now, I mean, I, now Vinny can actually do some stuff, like to the Sigilyph right here, and hopefully get to the much-needed level 39, where Vinny will be evolving. Hooray! Um, because, like I said, I'm not getting my next team member until, um, a little bit before the next gym, actually. And a lot of people did guess what they are, however, you know, there's still a few predictions, so... I don't know, I may actually switch them up a little bit, I don't know what I'll do it right now, I mean, uh... I like to do things, or keep things spontaneous, so who knows, I might switch up a few team members. However, I am still keeping uh, my flying type the same, so for those of you that, you know, still are predicting that or whatever, I mean, you can have your little speculations and everything, I mean, I'm not really going to tell you what it is, because I would like to keep it a surprise for everyone. So there we go, taking out a Tynamo, which is just the Jizz Pokemon, in my opinion. It looks like a little sperm, I don't know, I don't, that's just what I thought right off the bat, it's like, oh my gosh, it's a freaking Jizz, and I was actually thinking of using it at first when I started this playthrough, but, uh, then a few other people decided to use it, so I decided to replace it with something else. Um, but it was, it would have been pretty cool. I actually used it back in my Japanese run of the game, um, on my, you know, on my ace card and everything, so. It wasn't a bad Pokemon, it gets a lot of, uh, electric moves, obviously. It is an electric type with levitate, but it also gets, uh, like, flamethrower and stuff, so it was actually not bad at all. So, heading up here, we're going to be running into Charen, our silly little Asian friend, and he's actually gonna want to battle us for, like, the seventh time, uh, Probably, I'm not even exaggerating, I think this is actually like the, uh, fifth battle that we have with Charen, just Charen. Overall rival battle, this is probably like the tenth one or something. No, probably a lot more. Uh, let's see, if, if we've had like five battles with Charen so far, we've probably had like, uh, five battles with Bianca, that's already ten battles right there. And probably like three or five, yeah, three or four battles with N, maybe four, probably. So that's, uh, right there, almost like, you know, almost fifteen rival battles in this game. There are just way too many rival battles in this game, and I have nothing against it, they are good training. Um, so, you know, really I have nothing against them, it's just kind of annoying after a while, it's like, literally after every gym you have at least one rival battle, it gets a little annoying. Um, I do not yet have a thing that can take out Servine very easily, so I guess I'll just stick to Poncho, which by the way, if you guys have not checked it out yet, um, if you're one of those people that only watch my Pokemon videos on this channel, that, uh, I definitely recommend you check out my re-upload of an old prank call, which is actually where the name Poncho comes from. It was a prank call to a bar called The Lost and Found with a chinchilla, and basically a few things went down, and it, I thought overall it was pretty funny. I mean, a lot of people do like a few other of my prank calls, or even ST's Best Buy prank calls, so eventually I may re-upload all of those, um, with subtitles and everything for all of your viewing pleasure. Uh, but if you haven't checked that video out, it was my latest video, it was like uploaded two days ago or something. Simapore is the water monkey. If I had Spankwire, I probably could have taken that thing out very easily, but I do not. So let's go for Vinny instead, who is now level 39, so, you know, definitely uh, these Charen Bianca rival battles do help out with gaining a few more levels. But, uh, yeah, definitely check out that video. You can go ahead and click on uh, the videos thing up there, up on the, uh, just above this video, probably. There's a little drop down thing that says videos, and it'll be called, like, uh, Munching Oranges. Pan Poncho, the Chinchilla Prank Call, something like that. Scald is an annoying move, because it is a water-type move, but it can still burn you, which, I mean, it makes sense, because it is like boiling water back in the Japanese game, but now it's Scald, and I really, I don't even know what Scald means, so, I know it has something to do with, uh, boiling water, so, I don't know, it kind of makes sense for it to burn you, but I really preferred it when it was called boiling water, it was just really a lot more direct, and, you know, I don't have to look up the meaning of words in my Oxford Dictionary, man, um, but, you know, if I wasn't 
if English was my first language, I would probably know what scald means. I don't know. I mean, English isn't my first language, if, for those of you that don't know, but a lot of people do think I'm apparently white. I don't know. Like, apparently, I don't have, like, a Hispanic a accent at all. Um, just sometimes I just forget words. But, uh, here we have Benny Evolving. Hooray! And there we go! We have got ourselves our very own Scrafty! The Zulu Zukin. Or Vinny, the Zulu Zukin. I really preferred Zulu Zukin as a name. Scrafty's just. eh, I don't know. Anyway, here is uh, Mr. Alder again. He's all Naruto, hip and cool, like the Pervy Sage and everything, with his. I don't know, he has red hair, but he just overall reminds me of the Pervy Sage, except for his hair is a different color. But, uh. Anyway, he's going to tell us a few things about the champion and. How he reminds us, uh, we remind him of Marshall. Marshall is one of the Elite Four members, and he's very black and big and strong. And he has Fighting-type Pokemon, and he will give us HMO3, which is Surf. And it is a move that I've actually been wanting for a very long time now, because it will pretty much turn into, uh, one of Charlie's main moves. Because if you guys did not know, my Charlie, uh, my, uh, Samurott thing... Um, I don't know if Samurott is actually supposed to have more special or physical attack, but mine is pretty balanced, so... I'll actually show off its stats here, as you can see, uh has a pretty balanced stats. It has more attack, obviously, but its uh, special attack does not fall pretty short, or does not fall short behind. Um, so I'll actually be teaching uh, Charlie there Surf right now, and uh, there's a few other TMs that I could teach my Pokemon, but uh, I don't think I'll... You know, if I teach any of them anything, I'll just teach it off screen and then let you guys know whatever I taught anyone. But uh, for now on screen, I'll be teaching Charlie Surf, and I'll probably be getting rid of uh, the Aqua Jet, because I barely ever use that, or I mean, probably never use that. So there you go, getting rid of Aqua Jet for Surf, which is probably stronger than Razor Shell, and even though it is a special move, it's, it's still pretty good, I think. I think it should be good. Um, but let me quickly go back over... Okay, just drop off the edge. Awesome, I don't care. Uh, because I do have a max repel up, and I actually just want to make my way back to this house and go heal up, so I will do that right now. And there we go, let me pop up my dowsing machine again in case anything comes up. Hopefully this time I don't fall off those stupid tight ropes, and I actually do want to, you know, I'm tempted to run on them, but then I feel like I'm, dang it! <laughs> I just, I was about to say, I feel like I'm going to fall off, and of course right after that I do. So, I'm going to spray repel just to not run into anything annoying like those, uh, Zeb strike us and watch hogs that you can find here. Uh, but yeah, the next place uh, that we're heading off to is actually Twist Mountain, and this is mainly why I put Spankwire up first, because there are a lot of rock types in this place, like Boldors and, you know, Rock and Rollas and everything, and, you know, being a grass type, I was expecting Spankwire could gain a few levels from this. Probably could use uh, Scrafty as well. Scrafty could actually come in a lot more handy at the next gym, because he has Fighting type, and the next gym is Ice type, then Spankwire, because Spankwire will probably just get, like, one hit KO'd, like always, um, but I do like to use, you know, keep my team, kind of view you, OU, you, I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing, you know, all the starters always OU you, because everyone ends up using a starter, except for some people, but, uh, I don't know, I like to kind of mix it up. I know, uh, Scrafty's for a fact not UU you at all, he's pretty overused, May maybe not in the metagame, but I mean, uh, I just mean overused as in, like, people use it in their run-throughs, and just while they're playing their game in general, and of course, uh, I don't know why I just stayed in on that girder, that was a terrible idea, but now I'll have to take it out with, uh, some tail slaps, titty face, and hopefully, you know, Spankwire won't die as often as she's dying, um, so far, so... Probably gonna have to heal her up once more, actually. Let me go into my medicine bag real quick, and I guess I'll hit up a revive on Mrs. Spankwire, and then a nice hyper potion. There we go. Yeah. Uh, there, I don't even know if there's any new Pokemon in here, but if my repel wears out, eventually I'll just, uh, run around and, you know, we'll see what's, what there is to catch here. Uh, but I don't think there's that many different stuff. I mean, you can catch Bulldoors, which we could already find back in the other cave, the Charged Stone Cave. I don't know why they made there be, like, two caves run right after another Twist Mountain and Charged Stone Cave. But why is Clay all the way over here? I don't, I have no idea, but I know that this, uh, this Twist Mountain here is actually, like, a dig site of sorts, which we're about to see. And, uh, in the winter it is covered by snow, so we can't actually see it all. However, in the snow we can get a few items that you can't normally get here in Twist Mountain, so that might be a little helpful, and we can actually make our way down this slope here. Um, and across here, you can normally get past here if it's, uh, not snowing, so I guess that's pretty cool. You can also get a Stardust right there. There's a few things that are, uh, beneficial to the snow here in the Twist Mountainous places, so 
Here is also an iron, which I don't know if that was supposed to be down there, and you could actually pick it up down up there, too. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's go down here, and this guy can probably fight us. I don't even know, but we can't even talk to him. So let's go behind him. Oh, man, that sounds weird. No, he doesn't want to fight us. Uh, there is a nurse here, or a male nurse, or whatever. Male nurses are cool, and they will heal our Pokemon, which means that uh, the healing of Spankwire was actually a waste of time. Like always. I don't know why, but I always do this, and I always end up wasting my time, and it's just kind of annoying. Um, but hopefully by the end of this video, we'll be able to get through most of Twist Mountain. I know this is a pretty big mountain, so probably not going to get through the whole thing by today. But by next episode, hopefully we'll be at the 7th Gym City. And then, you know, my next team member will be just around the corner. Because there are a few things that we have to do before the gym. So hopefully it won't be too annoying to do anything at all. So there we go. Male Nurse Hank. Amazing. Heal up my Pokemons, man. I don't even know how he heals them up. I guess he just carries around medical supplies or something. But, uh... Whatever floats his boat, I'll just go with it. Um, there are supposed to be a lot of machinery here, or there is supposed to be a lot of machinery. Is that, is that the right way to say that? I don't know. I mean, machinery is plural, so I guess there is a lot of machinery. I don't know. Um, but there should be a lot of machinery here if it's not snowing. So uh, maybe eventually, when it's not snowing, I'll come back to this mountain and I'll show it off uh, when it's not snowing and it's not winter and everything. But uh, when it is winter, you can get a bunch of cool items like that rare candy there and basically just use your dowsing machine, trust me. Throughout the entire game, just have your dowsing machine turned on and it'll definitely help you out with getting um, a lot of items that you would normally miss out on. Um, I actually want to check out that cave down there and this is actually the first place that you can get to cup chew if it's not winter for you guys, but uh, if you're playing along, or you're, uh, you know, getting up to here. Um, this is the first place that you can catch Cup Chew, which is not in the winter, which is actually right in this area here, where it's a little snowy and there's like a an ice rock there, so, yeah. Touching it could make you freeze. I do believe that is the rock that you use to evolve Eevee into Glaceon in this game. Um, correct me if I'm wrong then in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's it. And there's also a mossy rock back in the very first forest we went into, which was back, like, right after the second gym, Pinwheel Forest. Um, but yeah, here is TM91 for Flash Cannon, which is kind of in an icy area, but I don't know, I guess if you want to have Flash Cannon, you can have your Flash Cannons and everything. So here is Cub Chew, the little polar bear thing, which I'll actually not be using, and uh, you can also catch it here, Cryogonal, which is the snowflake kind of thing. I mean, it is pretty weird looking, but uh, if you guys want to have it on your team, you can go ahead and catch that here. Um, it's, it's a nice type, it doesn't evolve at all, and it's pretty crappy, or at least in my opinion, it looks weird, I don't know. It's supposed to be some kind of snowflake, but, uh, it doesn't actually look a whole lot like a snowflake, more like a weird ice robot or something. Um, but there we go, that is about all the Pokemon that are to be caught here, I don't, other than that, I'm really not sure. I know Cub Chew, Cryogonal, and, uh, Boulder, and that other thing that we saw a little bit while back, like a few seconds ago or something, but, uh, let me head out of here and now actually go through the rest of Twist Mountain, but, uh, geez, we are running into a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, there we go, so Woobat. You can actually catch Woobat here as well, but, uh, we could have caught Woobat a long time ago if you actually wanted to use it on your team. I mean, it's not bad, it evolves by happiness as well, but, uh, that's why I decided not to use it because I already had Spankwire evolving by the happiness and everything, and I just really don't like Woobat that much, so, you know, whatever. Whatever you may want to use, you can go ahead and use it on your team. It's a good flying type. And I've been using, or not using, but saying but, uh, apparently, a lot. I don't know why, but things happen like that. And it's weird. But let's go through this cave and keep saying but all the time, because butts are the butt of the butt. No, I did not mean to do that. Ah, this is just annoying. I did not mean to do that at all, because I just want to get through this cave now, man. I I really want to get through the next city, man, and I want to go through this cave, you know, but I, but, but there's just people being such asses, and they're not letting me get through the cave. Um, before I forget, and it's because this video is pretty much over, uh, there's actually a 24-hour live stream going on pretty soon, and it is being hosted by Dodger, which if you guys do not know of her, uh, Press Heart to Continue is her YouTube channel, and I might actually make a guest appearance on that, so if you guys want to check that out, it will be starting at uh, 12 p.m. or 12 noon, basically, uh, Pacific Time, which is... I believe 3 p.m. Eastern Time, which is for me, I'm in Eastern Time, so if you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link in the description to where you go to watch it. Please support her, um, she's another member of the game station, and I really don't know if I will at one point or not make a guest appearance, but I'm pretty sure 
that if I make a guest appearance at one point, I'll, like, jizz and make a video about it and tell you guys to go watch me and stuff. But, uh, whatever may happen, I'll definitely let you guys know. And here is Clang, the evolution of Clink, which is just, uh, stupid names, but they are not that stupid Pokemon. They're just weird looking, but they're pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, that is, before I forgot, I really wanted to mention that, so if you want to check that out later on, you can go to the link in the description below. And I think that is about all that I wanted to talk about, so once I take out this stupid Clink thing, and hopefully it doesn't kill me, because Gear Grind might be a little annoying sometimes, uh, we can end off the episode, and next time head off to the next city. Oh man, Spankwire is learning Leaf Blade, that is amazing, because I've really been looking forward to that, it will be its new, uh, stab move, basically, because Razor Leaf just doesn't do it anymore, man. Uh, but that is it for today. I guess I'll leave off next to this pretty looking rock, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.